meeting. I'm late. Good morning, everyone. I have a task for all of you. I need you to evaluate this company named Papayanis, from which we could buy a 10% to accomplish our goal of expanding China. We will meet in a few days. To find Papayanis, approximate return on equity, we compare with two other companies. To do so, we use two different stock valuation methods. To calculate Senator's rate, we used a constant perpetual DTM, which resulted on a 10.50% interest rate approximately. While for Nikki, we used a growing perpetual DTM, which resulted on an approximate rate of 12.49%. We calculated the implied rate of return of the largest companies, which are equal to the return on equity minus the equity risk premium of both companies. Senaton's rate is 7.50% approximately, and Nikki's is 6.99% approximately. This gave us the range. So to calculate Papayani's return on equity and its range values, we use the return on equity largest from Senaton and Nikki's plus the small equity risk premium on both since Papayani's is a small company. These sums gave us two different rates that we used on the constant perpetual DDM for Senaton and on the growing perpetual DDM for Nikki's price. For Papayani's return on equity, we used the average return on equity largest from the companies plus the small equity risk premium. The resulting rate is substituted on the two-stage DDM, giving us Papayani's price. Having priced Papayani's, we will see how different factors can make its value change. We have employed the SWOT and sensitive analysis. Provided Papayanis' strengths as a wholesaler, it has a consolidated relationship with the stores, as well as great sales for a small company which sells fast moving consumption products. However, one weakness is that it doesn't show its e commerce or marketing expenses on the balance sheet. Also, it has no experience on working with multinationals, having a weak customer database and no big picture of the global market. Regarding potential threats, it has seasonal demand and the competition on the industry is rising. Finally, the Greek political situation with its unstable financial structure causes the imposition of high taxation on shipping. So, let me get this straight. If we buy a 10% of Papayanis, its export revenue would kick up. Clearly, its shareholders' fund would rise, and they would have the opportunity to come with us to China, increasing their sales and therefore its future cash flows. So, tell me. What would be your offer? Based on our previous calculations, Papayani's price is around 3.3 million euros. Taking into account the SWOT analysis, we increase and reduce the rate by 1 or 2 percent and the expected future cash flows, resulting in 9 different possible prices for 9 different possible scenarios. We chose this price to offer because it is a medium price with a low interest rate. This one is irrational for both companies, and we can make Papayanis obtain the best outcome. The decision making. Teamwork. Financial thinking. The Refuse. The offer. Bad luck.